Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Eric Marklin again with Marklin Designs of Atlanta. And today we're going to be talking about router bits, uh, some of the different router bits, uh, the differences in some of the router bits, and uh, some bits that I think, um, you know, if you're trying to start out into uh, fabrication, some bits you might want to use. Um, <clears throat> Router bits are very, very vital in any form of fabrication, uh, especially in car audio, making trim panels, door panels, inserts, uh, gapping for material like vinyl to vinyl, uh, vinyl to carpet transitions, uh, doing your chamfers, uh, just a lot of different things. So I'll kind of go over some of the bits that I have in my arsenal. Then I'm also gonna talk about some of the bits that I started out with and how my uh, collection has kind of grown over the years. <clears throat> so over here to the right, we have a master rabbiting bit set, uh, or some people call it a master uh, undersizing bit, but we have you know a large assortment of rabbiting bits with different size bearings and uh, different tolerances. So um, three eighths all the way up to uh, two inches. Uh, these are good like if you're trying to reduce a piece down uh, You can do it in different steps all the way down uh, Of course starting here you have the most amount of material uh, Being removed because of the small sizes of bearing and going up it's less material being removed All the way up to where pretty much a flush trim <clears throat> uh, Also, there's lots of tricks with using these oversized um the actual bearings with the rabbiting bit so um, I'll talk about that in an, in an actual another video but um, like I said these do work like I said if you have one that's actually flush it will work just like a flush trim bit uh, that you might see uh, like right here it's pretty much the same thing just different size uh, moving over here uh, one's missing because uh, it's loaded in one of the router stations but this is a master oversizing bit. So you can see the biggest difference here is uh, these are flush trim bits with oversized bearings, which would actually expand the profile, while the complete opposite with the rabbiting uh, does the complete opposite. Um, and like I said, these are really good uh, when it comes to making custom panels. Then moving over here, we have an assortment of uh, quarter inch spirals uh, various spirals. We have uh, this is a pretty famous one here. It's the EXP. It's a uh, six bearings on a uh, half inch, and uh, it's a spiral bit. <clears throat> and then we have the uh, infamous death bits, as they call them. And then uh, we have some of the CPR bits, which are really good for uh, compensating for different materials. And I uh, have a large rabbiting bit here, more spirals, and then some of the uh, micro bits. And then over here we have <clears throat> like the large monster 30 degree, the monster 45, the monster 60, then you have the regular 45, uh, mini 45s, 30s, 15s, uh, and different ones. So some of the reasons why I have so many different... Uh, router bits is I like different profiles, different sizes, and I'm, with me, the way that I build, it's all about speed, consistency, and repeatability. So you wanna have a consistent cut. You don't want wiggly lines. You don't want things where uh, it's just inconsistent. So that's the reason why I've invested in getting the router bits to help save time and have a consistent process of the way I build. And it's repeatable over and over and over. <clears throat> so. Um, definitely a few bits that I started out with that I think is essential. Uh, you definitely would like a uh, nice quarter inch spiral. Uh, this one's here a little dirty because it actually gets used, but this is a nice uh, quarter inch spiral. You definitely need one of those. And a good 45 degree chamfer bit is definitely something I'd recommend uh, to give you a nice uh, profile on some of your uh, panels. And then definitely you need a Things like the CPR bits, which are pretty much uh, small rabbiting bits that have a flush trim bit 
at the bottom. But uh, you can get these from 12 volt tools. I know uh, other companies like Mobile Solutions and M3 Fab uh, have variants, but they pretty much do the same thing. It just depends on uh, what do you, you know, what do you prefer getting your bits from? Uh, me personally, I have bits from 12 volt tools. I have bits from M3 Fab, and I have bits from Mobile Solutions. Uh, I don't have a favorite. I just whatever is, works for me. I use it doesn't matter where I get them from. I try to support everybody in the 12 volt industry. Um, but like I said, you have bits here that uh, compensate for vinyl, vinyl to vinyl, vinyl to carpet, uh, vinyl to European style carpet. Um, uh, then we have some bits like the 1 128 that just shaves off just a little smidgen of a uh, material. Then you have some bits here, like I said, a larger one that can do uh, a really large, uh, thick carpet and vinyl. So, like I said, different ones, like I said, you can go on the internet and uh, check out some of the sites, and they have different variants for what tolerances you need. Um, so, those are the ones that I normally use. But definitely uh something like this one here this is a half inch oversize i'm sorry quarter inch oversize bit and like i said if you're making profiles normally if you're making profiles if you want to expand a bit uh and then have a perfect insert you definitely want to have these two bits here um so yeah these are definitely some bits you definitely need but I know starting out, I started out with maybe three or four bits. I had a flush trim bit. Um, you know, like one of these half inch flush trim bits. Then I had a quarter inch spiral. And I had a uh, 45 degree chamfer bit. And I learned how to do the stack chamfer process using this bit. And these are pretty much three bits that I had. And then I eventually went on and uh, upgraded to a large wrapping bit which helped out tremendously because I was, you know, learning how to do inserts and expanding profiles and reducing profiles. And like I said, with these uh, bits right here, I got a lot of work done with these five bits. <clears throat> these are pretty much kind of my personal essential when it comes to a starter kit. Like if I could do it all over again, these would be my five uh, that I would definitely start off with just because you know the 45 degree chamfer is uh, timeless and you can do so many nice cool things with a 45 degree uh, spiral you can get through the wood really really easy and then I use the uh, half inch flush trim bit just because uh, when wrapping panels and when you want to get in those really tight radiuses uh, and corners to I'm sorry in the tight corner to give you that radius, it makes it a lot easier to wrap. But I have a previous tips and tricks video explaining the benefit of having uh, this here when you're wrapping your panels. And of course, you want a nice size rabbit uh, and then your oversizing bit. And another good thing uh, I would definitely recommend would be buying a master bearing set. Um, you don't have to get all of the bits, but just get the wrapping, I'm sorry, just get all the bearings, and then you can put them on your rabbit, wrapping bit, and do a lot of cool things with that as well. So once you take off the double bearings here, you can put one of the larger bearings on it and do some really cool things with undersizing and oversizing shapes. So, yeah, these are kind of, this is my little small uh, router bit collection. And like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I can try to help out as much as I can. Uh, another bit that we can talk about real quick is this one right here. This is a cool one. This is the LED bit. And if you do a lot of LEDs, this is a really cool bit because it's actually... Um, the perfect tolerance to inset most common LED strips into a panel and have it in there nice and flush and you won't just actually see the LED bar, or, I'm sorry, the LED strip itself. You just see just a glow. Uh, this is a really, really cool bit. Um, <clears throat> another bit 
that I think is uh, very, very cool is also this one here. But the cool thing about this bit is not necessarily the bit itself, but the bearing. It's a square bearing. So a lot of times if you're doing things with, let's say you are trying to transfer a profile onto a trunk panel or a floor, a lot of times if you use a standard uh, bearing like this, it will burn into that piece. And you'll have a lot of inconsistencies with a lot of jacket edges. The square bearing won't, it will hold that profile on that trunk panel and just ride it smoothly without tearing up anything. So this is a really, really cool bit as well. And uh, let me see what else we got here. That, that can, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got this one here. This is a uh, flush trim bit, but you can see how tall the actual cutting area is. So this one's really cool if you would like to have like you know multiple layers if you're trying to stack and make one single pass you can use this one here this one i would definitely recommend if you're going to do multiple layers uh definitely rough cut first because when you're coming through that wood without rough cutting uh it will start to wiggle and chatter and then you'll have kind of the chatter lines and wavy marks in the wood and you definitely don't want that because once you get ready to wrap the panel especially in vinyl, they will show up. You will see the chatter marks through the vinyl. So <clears throat> yeah, these are a couple of the uh, little, you know, tricks and tips that I can kind of tell you. Uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, you can always just uh, message me on, uh, or just leave a comment and I can try to uh, answer them or I can make a specific video talking about any of these bits. So hope this helps out. And like I said, if you have any questions, you know, you can always reach out to me. I'm always available. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope this helps out. Thanks.